I don't know how many people around you. I imagine you're not really with a group of people. Um, why doesn't, you know, like someone have like a bad day and just like jump you? You know, like why wouldn't like three or four people just like get you? When they no do sometimes. Um, now they, well, one, because I, you know, now you work with them. Like I'll be, I, you work out of a steady house where I'm there every day. So they know hmm. me, you know, you almost develop, I, you know, you're never friends with an inmate. Never. They're never your friend, but you do develop a working relationship. I'm there every day with these guys. They know me. They like, I'll walk into a house in the beginning, like, and then they don't know me. And they'll be like, oh, you're racist, this and that. And I'll be like, listen, I'm the least racist person you'll ever meet. They just see me and, you know, they say this and that. But once they get to know me, they'll be like, okay, he's funny, this and that. I'm fair. I try to be fair with these guys. Listen, you got to lock in. There's certain things I got to do. They'll be in the cell, like four of them in a cell smoking. I can't have four of you in the cell. You know, if you want to smoke, Go somewhere, go around in the day room or something where I can't see you, but you can't be in the cell because what happens is they just start cutting each other in the cell and then I'm, I'm suspended mm. because that, that's the, that goes back to the care, custody and control. You yeah. know, it, it's, it's, they don't listen. It's not, it's not like they listen to you. They're in there because they don't listen and they're kids like me, you, everybody else. We were all jerks when we were 18, 19 years old. We just were because like most 18, 19, 17 year olds are all jerks. These guys are jerks, but they're gang members. They're blood gang members. There's a whole bunch of gangs. They're constantly warring with each other. They're constantly passing drugs around. You know, it's a now the tablets, the, the way they have the tablets, it's a good thing that they have the tablets. It gives them something to do. Because a lot of the stuff that they do, it's because they're bored in there. These guys are facing like they're, they're 18 years old. They're facing 20, 25 years. And they also, you know, they don't have a good grasp of the of the justice system. A lot of them don't understand like what bail bailing out means. Like I explained to them, I'm like, bail, if you bail out, you're going to get your money back when you come to court. Bail mm-hmm. is just a, a, a collateral to say you're going to come to court. Like they think, oh, we're bailing out, I'm going home. And they go home. But you're still, you're just awaiting trial in here. The bail is just your awaiting trial outside. That's mm-hmm. why I said it's very good that we're all entitled to a lawyer. Because a lot of yeah. these kids don't understand. They don't understand the system. And they get wrapped up in the system and they do stupid stuff. They all have guns. They all have a shooting charge or a gun charge. But uh, the tablets keep them busy. You throw some movies on there. They have the Internet, but it's not like the Internet where they could go wherever they It's restricted Internet. Um, they're starting to do uh, phone calls with the tablets, hmm. which prevents a lot of problems with the with the phones. Because what they have is they'll have slot time, they call it slot time. The guy who runs the house is going to get 8, 830 because the phones go off at nine o'clock. So the guy who runs the house and his gang is going to get 830 to nine on that phone. Don't touch that phone. That's the blood phone. Don't touch mm-hmm. this phone. That's the crypt phone. So it, it kind of, you know, if they all have their own phone, it, it prevents fights and stuff. Check out the full video now and subscribe. It's free.